Hi, it's Rob Cottingham. I'm going to show you how to add a widget to an iGoogle page. Let's say that we have this blank page here and we want to add a widget to it. And let's say the widget we want to add is the feed from Read Write Web. This is a blog that deals with uh, all sorts of online technology uh, and online communications uh, topics and issues, especially things around social media and Web 2.0. You'll notice it has the nice uh, RSS icon. You'll also notice that there's one in my browser toolbar, which you're going to find in most modern browsers. So if you click that button, you get the option of two different feeds, both of which look pretty much identical. Usually the top one is the one that you want, uh, but it's good to have a look at, uh, at both of them. And this does in fact look like the one we want. It's all of the stories there, so great. You can choose what you want to use to subscribe. I'm going to click on iGoogle and then I click the subscribe now button. There's a nice big blue button here that says add read write web to iGoogle. I click that and there it is. But let's say that it wasn't read write web. Let's say that we're searching Google blogs and we are looking for we've done our blog search We've sorted it by date, so that the most recent stuff is at the top. That's particularly important if you want to uh, add this to a dashboard. And we have all of these hits. Then we go down, and remember we're looking for that RSS link. We click on that. Up pops the feed and the option to subscribe. We're going to choose iGoogle. Click subscribe now. We're going to get a confirmation screen. Add this blog search to iGoogle. Why, yes, we want to. And there it is. Once it's arrived, we can do a number of things with it. You can, for example, decide that you're going to look at nine different hits at once. You might want the lead story to appear as well, at least the uh, a little bit of a teaser for it. And it can do that for you. We can do that as well with this one if we want to. Pull down that menu with the triangle button, click Edit Settings, set Display to Headline and Lead Story, set Stories to Show to whatever you'd like it to be, and click Save. And that's it.